loves, welcome back to Q&A Tea Time with Mel. I've just set up the tent. I'm just making my chai, but I'll be back with you very, very shortly. Look how cute this is. This is our new setup. Let me just tilt you down a bit. Isn't that cute? I'll just tilt you up a little bit so you can see it. I couldn't get it all in the shot because it literally goes to the ceiling. But I thought this would be our new setup for Q&A tea time. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec, okay? How sad is this, my love? I literally finished the whole bag. Okay, brew that. Then let's get in the milk. Just wait for that to breathe. And then should we go around about six minutes left? We've timed this perfectly. Oh, and then also, let me take you into the freezer. Peter made some of my slice. My cool mint slice. I might have two of them for Q&A tea time. All right, let's go and get ready. Okay, my loves, I'm back. Oh my gosh, there was such a big ordeal because I was too busy filming um, all the little outtakes for this. I totally like, my chai basically exploded on the stove. So I have half a cup. <laughs> I've had some by the way. Anyway, so let's get on to today's question. Now, who is this one from? Lorena. Okay, she says, this is all about um, how to follow your intuition. So let me read you the letter and then we'll get on to answering the question. Anyway, I just want to say before I start, thank you so much to each and every one of you that emailed me. Oh my goodness. I've actually had to um, type like an auto responder to all of you guys because there was just so many. So I truly appreciate you. I've read every question. I'm just, Basically, I'm using my intuition to see which ones I should feature on the channel. Okay, so Lorena says, DML, I just watched your Q&A tea time with Peter and felt so happy and hopeful that it is possible to manifest anything. Yes, particularly a life partner. I feel we're always told we need to settle and learn to accept others with all the mistakes and flaws. And I know that no one is perfect but I feel I've settled for such a long time in relationships just to not be alone. Even though, should I read that right? I know that no one is perfect, but I feel I've settled for such a long time in relationships just to not be alone. Even though I'm not happy, or I know a person is not right for me. At the moment, I'm seeing a guy who's nice to me, but I know he's not the one, again. So, I really hope the universe will push me to do the right thing this time. Who? Change your thoughts. The, just say the universe is guiding me, not hope, because that shows a lack, that shows like resistance in your vibration. And she goes on and she says, anyhow, I don't know how exactly to formulate my question, but apart from the whole love relationship topic, at the moment where I feel there's a conflict is in my career. I've been a graphic designer for seven or eight years now. Whoa. But for the past two years, I've been wishing to jump into illustration as my life career. Oh my gosh. This year, I moved to Mexico City because, oh, this is so exciting. I moved to Mexico City because I knew that's where all the activity is at. And I wanted to meet other people that were doing what I want to do. Amazing. Recently, I applied to two contests that are very important in the illustration world. Congratulations. And I thought I was doing all the work I needed to manifest getting into the winners. It turns out I didn't win in any of them. And yes, I must admit, I got a bit sad and disappointed, but I just keep telling myself that everything works out in divine timing and maybe this was not the right time, or even that the success I'm hoping to achieve is not the one that the universe has planned for me. Girl, you are incredible. I love how you think. Um, on the other hand, here's where I'm confused. In the past month, I've gotten at least five job opportunities as a graphic designer, either at companies or doing freelance work. 
I've taken a few freelance jobs, especially because I need the money, but I know I don't want to do that anymore. I just signed to work on to a project and I'm dreading it. Dreading to do it because I know it doesn't vibrate as high. I don't vibrate as high as when I'm illustrating. So my doubt is about this. Why does the universe keep sending me jobs that I really am not interested in? Should I allow them to happen or continue through that path even though I don't really enjoy them? Or should I settle, oh, I hate that word, or should I settle and keep looking for ways to actually have a career I dream about? This goes the same for love partners. Thank you so much for reading this long email and for your videos, you're welcome. With love from Mexico Law. P.S. Can you please show me the link, the sign up link for the spiritual reading, thanks. Ah, okay. Let's bring you a little closer. How exciting. Okay, I actually took some notes when I first read through this and then I kind of leave it so you can actually capture my real reaction on camera. Good Lord, why did the sun change? Ah, please come back, please come back, please come back. I'm gonna buy a light for myself when I hit 1 million views, which is very, very shortly. Okay, first of all, Law, mass, I hope I'm saying your name right, by the way. Um, if I'm not, massive apologies. Um, Congratulations for entering those competitions. And I love that you moved to Mexico to follow your intuition because that's where you felt like, you know, all the hustle and bustle is and where you need to be. That is amazing. And I just wanted to say that how proud I am of you for doing that step. And I love how you said that, you know, you applied for it and you were sad, but maybe it wasn't the right time. I think what you should be focusing on is how amazing that you even applied and that obviously you felt that you did a fabulous job because you thought that you were going to win, like you were in with a chance. So I think that speaks massive in regards to your intuition. Fabulous that you moved to Mexico, fabulous that you applied. You know, sometimes it's not about the outcome, it's about the things that we learn along the way. Maybe there was some resistance in your vibration or maybe the universe was like, I want you to try it and see how you feel. And if you don't feel good about it, then we can eliminate it. Or if you do feel really good about it, which is the vibe that I'm getting from you, then go with it, keep going. You know, rejection is a really beautiful thing and it makes you stronger and it prepares you to really invest yourself. Let me get really personal for you. Um, I'll get to it in a second. Um, okay. Then you also said that you had five job offers as a graphic designer, holy moly. Now, sometimes I know that things cannot be in alignment um, and you're like, I don't really wanna do that. But at the same time, you need food on the table, you need your bills paid and you need some money to have like self-love time. So what I have learned on my journey is that sometimes you can't just, um, cut one thing off and expect the next one to be there straight away. Sometimes we need to go on a journey to evolve ourselves to make sure that we are in alignment with what we want. Me, I'm the perfect example of this because I remember when I was told from a company that I used to work for, which I can't name because I signed a contract about all of this, and they basically said, right, you can't work. I was like, what? They're like, you're involved in a HR matter. I was like, what, are you kidding me? Um, and then in that moment, I basically heard my intuition speak to me and it was very, very clear. And it was like, you have time to now write your ebook, the one you've always wanted. And I was like, okay. Anyway, so kind of, sometimes the universe gives you things like, uh, how do I explain it? Like situations arise that you don't expect, but you have to go with the flow of it. Yes, you didn't win, who cares? At least you applied, at least you put in your heart and soul into what you did. Um, and I think at the same time you have to, oh, that's the story I'm trying to get to. Sometimes things can become quite abrupt. And then instead of going like, I think you have to be sensible about it. Um, I don't know how to word this. Basically what I've learned in the last two years of living on like $300 a week, not even joking, $300 a week and I've been able to pay my bills, save money. Um, I'm very, very good with money actually. And 
because I was too stubborn to get a job. For ages and ages, I didn't want one. And then when I got to the point, I was like, oh, I actually need one. And I had so many blocks. So you need to like, I don't know how to say this. I think you need to be sensible because it's like, do you really want to sacrifice and have like no money coming in? Do you have savings? Is that an option you can make? Well, sometimes what we need to do is have the job that we don't like to put food on the table and to keep our sanity. Because I feel like if you take the, if you start relying on your, the thing that you want to make you money, if you put too much stress onto it, you'll start to see resistance creep into your vibration, which in turn, it's like, I've got to sell this painting, this painting, this painting, so I can pay the rent. And people get that that um, that desperate vibe from you. Instead of just allowing your gift to just come into the world, that is a different vibe. So I think you need to be very careful in the way that you do that. I highly recommend that you read the book, Big Magic from Elizabeth Gilbert, because she basically says, don't quit your day job. Don't quit your day job to do something else because you'll put you'll put too much emphasis on it. And if it doesn't work, you're like, Ugh. it's kind of like be sensible about it. But that's just what I'm saying. But I feel like you need to listen to your intuition. Maybe the universe is saying, here, Law, I'm going to give you um, five jobs to choose from. Five being a fabulous number, which also illustrates <laughs> illustrates um, massive significant life change maybe you'll be able to work for whatever this company is what did you say you were doing at these oh, graphic design maybe someone at one of these jobs this is what you can manifest okay I just got my train of thought back again maybe what you could do is manifest having like this beautiful company to work for and then you're gonna know someone that is involved with illustrations or has a hookup for you and then that's how it could lead to I feel like you can't be, I feel you can be ballsy and you'd be like, no, nah, I don't want to do this. But I feel like at the same time, you don't want to go insane. You don't want to go crazy. You don't want to end up in hospital like me because I put so much emphasis on this project that someone was paying me to do. And I just became so immersed in it and put so much pressure on myself. I literally gave myself a urinary tract infection and was in hospital for three days. I had crazy, um, uh, um, what do you mean? Oh, what do you call it? Temperatures where I was like shaking and I couldn't walk. I didn't have energy to walk. And that was a really bad time. That was last year. I made a video about that on my channel. Um, and I think in order to keep all of your chakras unblocked, to keep your sanity and to, to allow whatever is to transform to transform because I think that you should no I can't say what you should do what is your intuition saying about the jobs it's not long term it's just short term sometimes when you become an entrepreneur actually all the times you have to make sacrifices it's like what are you willing to sacrifice for your dreams for me I sacrifice money which I'm very grateful for because I've become very very good with money um like I mean very good which has taught me a lot, but this is not about me. I think you need to read Big Magic from Elizabeth Gilbert or listen to the audiobook. You can, you know, you can get it for free if you wanted to um, download Audible because um, they have a free book for 30 days and then you can cancel your account if you don't want it. Um, but listen to your intuition, you know? Sometimes you need to do things that you don't necessarily want, but there is a reason why you are meant to, I think there's a reason why those five things came up. Hold on, I think I need to just need to get my um, cards for you. Hold it right there, please. Okay, okay. Oh, look at that, this is my beautiful box, I love it. I got told numerology, let's get your numerology. Angels, can we have a card for Law, please? She's a little bit confused. Okay. Tap. One, two, three. Angels, what the heck? Can I have one card for Law, please? About her job. I've got a massive pain in my chest now, so this is to do with the matter of the heart. She needs some clarity on 
graphic design versus illustration. That one. Environment, 44. The environment in which you're working in. Or this could also be Mother Nature. Maybe you need to find your hearing like cultivate an environment where you can feel like you are an illustrator and then like pretend oh like I literally saw like your studio like your illustration studio wherever that may be in your living room in your bedroom wherever like cultivate an area where you are you know setting yourself up like your studio and you're working and dress to impress like literally dress as if you're like you're being paid like you're going into work for somewhere and then, um, what else did I just see? I saw like a massive easel, but I know that you could like, <sighs> illustration could be, e I don't know how you, I see both either like on the computer or like you're drawing. I don't know. I feel like you need to create an environment for you that sets you up Can you see that? and kind of like, because I feel like if you set up that environment for you yourself, like you are an illustrator, it tricks your subconscious because if whatever you visualize, your brain literally can't tell the difference between the visualization and the real thing. So if your brain, if you trick your brain to your, well, your subconscious to believe that you already are an illustrator, then you have the power to manifest things a lot quicker into your reality. I feel you're meant to do the graphic design thing because I feel like there's going to be someone that you meet that's going to lead you to where you need to go. Okay, let me just quickly read. 44, by the way. Good number. Okay. This card indicates a time to focus on your environmental awareness by educating yourself about what's going on behind the scenes. Honor Mother, Nature, uh, honor Mother Earth as living, breathing entity and recognize that we are privileged to be here as her guests. By drawing this card, you've been encouraged to dig deep and look beyond the surface to question whether your personal and political decisions are in the best interests of planet Earth. Interesting. This card also encourages you to recycle, blah, blah, blah. Be more self-sufficient. Educate your children and family members as well. Are you drawing about the environment? What kind of illustrator are you? That just came up. Educate your children and family members as well as your friends and realize that we're all in this together. We can make a significant change. By recognizing and appreciating the connection to nature and the animal kingdom and Mother Earth, you align with Source and your essence of your soul. I share respect to Mother Earth and align myself with Source. I don't know, I feel like I need to give you like a full on reading. One cards is not enough. And I'm so glad that you want a private reading too because I feel like we can go into more depth. But my advice to you to sum it all up because I could just talk to you all day and everyone else, my beautiful MK Love fan that's watching, is to literally follow your intuition but I feel like you have to be smart about it. And if you want to make radical decisions, do it. If it feels right for you, honest to God, do it. If you're hesitant, then do what you need to do to make ends meet and continue visualizing and cultivating that environment of where you feel like you are an illustrator. Well, you already are an illustrator. That's the thing. I feel like people define themselves as an illustrator when they get paid for it. You have to kind of, I think you need to spend a lot of time visualizing what you actually, what it's going to look like for you. Work through your blockages with career. I just saw, I just literally turned my head and the first word I saw on your email was success. Yeah. Let me just get one healing card, just one. Whoa. From Archangel Raphael. Just one card. Where's her blockage? Can you tell me where the blockage is? Okay, I saw it. Forgiveness heals. Holy crap, that has, been the, that has literally been the whole theme of every video I have made today. <gasps> Listen to that song, Katie Tunstall, um, Heal Over. 
Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I need, peace and health. My intuition is saying that you should take the job as you allow yourself time to heal and then you'll know when the time is right for this to become a full-time gig. In the meantime, listen to the audiobook or read the book Big Magic from Elizabeth Gilbert and use your intuition to find out which of those jobs you're going to take. I know you said that you had, you said you've taken a few freelance jobs. Amazing being a freelancer. Huh, so many people aspire for that. So that's even more amazing. And I know you don't want to do it, but sometimes we're going to make some sacrifices. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Law, write to me and let me know what you think, what came up for you, because I would love to hear from you. If any of you, my beautiful MK Love fam, have any fabulous questions you would love for me to feature on this channel, and as a part of our Q&A tea time, oh my gosh, I have been talking so much, I haven't even been drinking my tea. Also, can I just say that the reason why I love Q&A tea time is because... I wanted you to feel like we're together and we're literally sitting down having a chat. And if I was to sit down and meet you guys and you were to be my friend in real life, I would have a cup of tea with you. <laughs> That's just what I do. And so I felt that this is a nurturing way to kind of invite you in and to just talk through some issues that are arising in your existence. Have an amazing day wherever you are. Please make sure you subscribe so you never miss another episode massive announcements coming soon oh my goodness it's a good time it's a very good time you know why it's a good time because this is a time of transformation and growth and we're in eclipse season and it's a fabulous season and it's all about getting rid of the old and becoming that new fabulous you i feel like you also need to law um listen to my heart chakra meditation because I feel like the blockage is in your heart because I just feel, my heart feels tight. I don't know. But I got two cards that were really, really green. Ah, also, can you see like, once she like forgave, or he, whatever that is, angel, um, you reach enlightenment. Also, eat a lot of blackberries and a lot of, blackberries are really, really good which is the highest form of antioxidants, according to Dr. Gregor from his Daily Dozen um, and his book, How Not to Die. But also green foods, green leafy foods help activate the heart chakra. So pay attention to your diet. Anyway, love you guys. Bye.